We live in a connected world, but what is that connection? For most of us, it's wireless. And in some cases, it's also wired. But all of the options and freedoms that wireless allow us can get in the way if we're trying to record a video conference. Hi, I'm Mark Bullock with videosocials.net and phoneblogger.net. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about you might want to consider wiring up your wireless device to your network hub or your router. Why would you do that? Well, wireless Wi-Fi um, is a great technology, but it's going to have ups and downs depending on where you are in relation to the antenna, depending on other things that are going on on that wireless service. Almost no wireless connections, whether they be through a home office or through the, your off, actual office environment, are going to be your device and the router by itself. There's always, almost always going to be other things that are going on. And those other devices can be doing updates in the background. Um, if you're at a home office and you've got kids, especially teenagers, if they've got a, a, a gaming console, that thing is probably running all the time. In other words, there's other things that can be getting in the way, sucking up the bandwidth that's required for your video to come out clean and clear and for Zoom to do its magic in trying to balance your connection speed and the consistency of that connection speed to give you a clean picture as well as to synchronize your voice with your video. So what does wiring mean? Well, it means that in most cases, a category five network cable plugged from your device directly into the router. Now that's a, and you're not gonna be able to see this on camera, I don't think, but that's a, it, what looks like the old phone jack, except it's a little bit wider. So RJ45 uh, is the connector that it's called Cat5 or Cat6 cable are typical names that are used for it, but it's a network cable. Now, if your device doesn't have a network jack, a plug to plug this cable into, in almost all circumstances, you can get a USB to RJ45 connector from Best Buy or Amazon or whatever, whatever the case may be so that you can do a wired connection. The next part that you need to be concerned with is that your device is already, if you've been using Wi-Fi, is already set up for that as default. So in order for you to use the network cable, just plugging it in doesn't mean that it's actually turned on. As a matter of fact, in most cases, it's going to still use the Wi-Fi connection, even though you've plugged in the network cable. So you need to go into your system settings, into your network settings, and temporarily disable your Wi-Fi and enable the wired connection that you can use for doing your trying to do a recorded video conference, like in video socials. So I hope you found that valuable. I hope you found that useful. Um, and I want you to consider you can do this just for the, a particular meeting or you can do it full time. But for most of us, it's just going to be something that we do for, uh, for a particular meeting. And yeah, it takes a minute or two to do. But once you've done it and once you've figured it out, it's literally seconds to switch things around. Um, and don't let that get in your way of having clean video and clean audio coming across for your video blogs. Again, Mark, videosocials.net, phoneblogger.net. Have a great day.